today we will take up a topic of allegation we'll just do the basics of allegation do allegation can be used in much complicated sums but let's focus on the basics now what is allegation it's a useful technique to solve sums where average is given the concept that is used is the average is closer to the value whose weight is higher so let's try to understand this by an example suppose i'm mixing rupees 10 per kg of wheat with rupees 15 per kg of wheat to get rupees 12 per kg of wheat. so i'm mixing two quantities let's say i'm mixing the first quantity here and second quantity here okay to get a third quantity which i'll write in middle so i'm mixing a rupees 10 per kg of wheat so rupees 10 since everything is given in rupees per kg we use rupees per kg so 10 per kg of wheat i'm mixing with 15 per kg of wheat to get a 12 per kg of wheat allegation you just subtract the values you do 12 minus 10 which comes to 2 you write it this side 15 minus 12 which comes to 3 you come and write it this side so if you look at it the ratio that will mix the two quantities is 3 is to 2 you use more quantity of 10 and less quantity of 15 which you can also make out because the average is closer to 10 the same concept average is closer to the value whose weight is higher so here we are basically mixing boys and girls the average age of boys is 16.4 years the average age of girls is 15.4 years and the average age of class is 15.8 years so we can do allegation 16.4 minus 15.8 is 0.6 15.8 minus 15.4 is 0.4 and the ratio comes to 2 is to 3 so in this case it will be none of these next up the average of adult is 40 years so we have adults and students and you have to look at how the average is given they said decreasing the average of the class by 4 years that means average is given in years so everything will be in years so average age of adults is 40 years and average age of students is 32 years and the new average is reduces by 4 years is 36 years that is 40 minus 4 you can do allegation so 40 minus 36 is 4 36 minus 32 is 4 you get a ratio is 1 is to 1 so the number of students are given is 12 12 new students have joined that means number of students is 12 so number of adults will also be 12 so the answer out here will be 12 now here let's look at how the average is given the average is given in terms of average of the scores which is 12.4 minus average decreases by 0.4 so the average becomes 12 so initial average is 12.4 for him current average is 26 divided by 5 which comes to 5.2 so again we can use allegation 12.4 minus 12 is 0.4 12 minus 5.2 comes to 6.8. If we take the ratio, it comes to 17 is to 1. That means here, if he has taken 5 wickets, that means here he will take 85 wickets. So the answer will be 85. You are mixing sugar worth 3.6 kg and 4.2 kg to get some value. So we take 3.6 and 4.2. But understand, 3.6 and 4.2 are cost price, whereas 4.4 is selling price. So we have to first convert the selling price to cost price. You can use the formula of cost price is equal to selling price upon one plus profit percent. So cost price comes to four. Understand the value in between has to be middle of these two, because average will always be middle of the two values. So you can take allegation. This is 0.2. This is 0.4. The ratio comes to one is to two. we know this is 8 kgs so this will be 4 kgs so you can use this by a different method but let's try to see how to use allegation out here you are using milk and water now milk and water is one quantity you can't take this two different quantity so you can either take milk or you can take water to get the answer let's say if i take milk so how much milk is there in the first 13 upon 20 and what are we mixing with we are mixing with water we are adding water to it how much milk is there in water we say zero milk is there in water and what do you get the answer as 13 is to 11 or 13 out of 24 milk so here we are using in terms of milk you can use allegation this comes to 13 upon 24 this comes to around 13 upon 120 if you solve it so 13 13 gets cancelled the ratio comes to 120 is to 24 or 5 is to 1 
so we know the first quantity is 100 liters so second quantity will be 20 liters as the answer you can also do in terms of water for example in the first case how much water is there 7 upon 20 in the second the whole thing is water so we put it as 1 because it's given in proportion so 1 water to get 11 upon 24 water again you get allegation and you should get the same answer so just practice allegation it is useful in lot of averages sum where you can do it faster and it will save you time in the exam thank you